Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Feast Day, October 1st. The Little Way of Love, The Life of Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Once upon a time, in the small town of Alassa, France, a radiant soul named Therese Martin was born on January 2, 1873. Her parents, who would later be canonized, filled their home with love and faith. Tragedy struck when she was only four, as her mother passed away, leaving Therese, her father, and her sisters to face the world. At the tender age of 15, Therese had a transformative experience of divine union on Christmas Day in 1886, a moment she described as a complete conversion. It was a glimpse into the depth of her spiritual journey. The following year, in 1887, during a pilgrimage to Rome, she was granted permission by Pope Leo XIII to enter the Carmelite Monastery, a remarkable decision for someone so young. Within the cloistered walls, Therese's life unfolded in simplicity and love. She wholeheartedly embraced her vocation, dedicating herself to a life of holiness and childlike trust in God. Her journey was not without its trials, but she resolved to be charitable to everyone, even though she found difficult to love. Through countless small acts of charity and sacrifices, she began to understand the essence of her calling. In her autobiography, Therese revealed her childhood dreams of becoming a missionary, an apostle, or a martyr, yet she was confined to a quiet French cloister. However, a profound revelation dawned upon her the church had a heart, a heart filled with love. Love was the driving force behind all vocations, and it was eternal. She exclaimed, My vocation is love. On June 9, 1895, the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity, Therese offered herself as a sacrificial victim to the merciful love of God. Little did she know that a year later, on the night between Holy Thursday and Good Friday, she would experience the first symptoms of tuberculosis, an illness that would ultimately lead to her death. Therese did not view her illness as a tragedy but as a divine visitation, an answer to her earlier offering. She also endured a profound trial of faith, which lasted until her passing a year and a half later. Her last words, My God, I love you, sealed her remarkable life. Since her departure from this world, millions have been touched by her little way of loving God and neighbor. Countless miracles have been attributed to her intercession, just as she had predicted during her earthly life that her heaven would be spent doing good on earth. In 1997, a century after her death at the age of 24, Pope John Paul II proclaimed Therese a doctor of the Church, only the third woman to receive this honor, following in the footsteps of St. Catherine of Siena and St. Teresa of Avila. Throughout her life, Therese's profound wisdom shone through her words, You know well enough that our Lord does not look so much at the greatness of our actions, nor even at their difficulty but at the love with which we do them. Her life, a testament to the power of love and simplicity, continues to inspire countless souls to walk the path of love, known as the little way of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. I recommend subscribing to this inspirational channel to receive daily wisdom from the saints. Show your appreciation by sending blessings in the comments, and don't forget to share the videos on your social networks. In return, may you receive abundant blessings in your life.